Hey everyone, Guardian E here with another Poverty Polls video in Fire Emblem Heroes Social Distancing Edition. For the uninitiated out there, Poverty Polls is basically our way of compiling all of the free and discounted polls on the numerous banners that we get over the course of the past month or so. We just end up compiling it all together, hope for the best, uh, and see if we can get lucky and get some either free or discounted 5 stars. So fingers crossed, and let's get started! All right, well, we've got a lot of summoning to do today. First up, Weekly Revival 2. Love the fact that they're rotating back in these Weekly Revivals. And I certainly wouldn't mind getting another Celica, and I don't have a Delphia, so either of those would actually be fine. I think I will actually potentially spend the orbs, depending on what we see here. Lots of blues and reds. Um, yeah, you know, I think I will. I think I will spend... Actually... I think it's going to make me a liar. I, I don't know if I'm going to spend... We may, we, may, we may not go in crazy here. Here's Bantu. I'm just so indecisive today. I think... Um, no. We, we are going to pass. We are going to pass. Just because I, I could use merges for my Celica, but I don't really need them. So I'd rather save my orbs for Regal Rabbits or one of the other banners that's up currently. So, um, on this one I actually have both Marissa and Paula, so I, I don't need them, although I wouldn't mind getting another copy. Uh, Veronica is there too, and I, I think Veronica has some decent stuff, so green is an option. So I think blues, reds, and greens, that, that may be what we go for here. I always like the bunnies, so, um, so yeah, the orbs that we didn't spend on the first round, we will spend here instead. So let's start with a chance at Marissa. Getting a dupe Marissa isn't a bad thing. I think mine is pretty neutral. Ah, it's three star. There is a Claire. Another Flying Lancer instead. So we'll make our way around. We'll grab the reds and the green. And then we'll call it there. Just give it a shot. Try our luck. And we're going to be getting an Ellie Wood. About overdue for a resplendent version. Get a little update for that art. Alright, next red, so last chance at Paula. Ah, it's a three star. Could be a three star Paula. Nope, Draug. And we'll take a stab at Veronica. She would be new for me. So might as well. Okay. We've got a chance. Ah, uh, that is going to be a Sheena. Alright. Should I go for Bruno? It's just three orbs, right? You know what? Since I've come this far, let's take a stab. Take a stab at getting the, the only version of Bruno currently in the game. Ah, oh, no. It's going to be a Nana instead. Alright, so no go on this banner. Unfortunately, we're striking out here, but next is the hairs at the fair. I think I'll be pulling for any blues or colorless because I have both of them, but I wouldn't mind uh, getting Kagero merges, and my Katria has terrible IVs, so blues and colorless. Okay, let's start with the blues, and then we'll make our way over to the colorless after that. Alright, gonna get an Able. Second blue stone, last chance at Katria, or a Katria merge more specifically. And it's going to be a Subaki. That's okay, it's alright. Let's wrap it up with the colorless stone. But it seems like the spring banners aren't treating me too hot this year, just in general. Ah, and that is going to be a Clarine. Ugh. Ah, oh, well. Alright, and last but not least, we have the heroes with even wave skills. I actually have all of these except for Shannon, so I think we're going to be pulling on reds. If we have them, uh, blues as a backup. Well, blues it is. Let's grab this blue stone up at the top here. See if we can't get at least a strike of luck on one of these banners. Oh, and we are going to get a strike of luck. Look at that. Free Spirit Selkie. Such a cutie. Uh, my first Selkie that I got was actually a random poverty pull as well. So Selkie 
just seems to like showing up on on these banners just randomly so um that's great that is awesome let's go ahead and check our ivs real quick minus defense plus res and i again i think my other one is plus res too because i remember commenting that i think some of her i don't know some of her effects are tied to res something like that okay so oh later all right so we did actually make it out with with something in the end of the day well, since we got something in the last batch, I'm not really expecting a whole heck of a lot in this go-around, but let's start with Weekly Revival 3. I have all three of these units, but wouldn't mind getting another Nephany, so we're gonna pull on blue here. Uh, okay, two chances. I'm, uh, I'm feeling the lower one. Let's try the lower one. Okay, at least a four-star. Can we get that Neph Neph? Oh, hey, it's all... Oh, wow, it's a five-star Altana. Oh, man, she is available as a four-star, so this is pretty unique. Um, getting her as a five-star is awesome. Her stat line's pretty great, so... Um, this is not my first Altana. I did get a four-star version of her. May as well check her IVs, plus HP minus res. Not great, but her being a four-star means we can fish around for good IVs for her. So getting a five-star means... Uh, can save on some feathers. Well, that was unexpected. Pretty nice. Uh, we will move on to the Spring Festival, one of the uh, banners that's close to my heart. Uh, I think, I mean, I do have all of the units on this banner, so greens it is. Because I will never say good... Oh, man, okay. Well, the only other focus color is blue, so that's what we're going to pull on today. Uh, I think both my Xander and Lucina have horrible IVs, so... I'll take another one. Uh, that is going to be a Jagan. Alright, that's fine. Not spending any more on this one. And uh, we finally have Mythic Hero Bramamon. So, per usual, I would pull on all of the first discounted circle, usually. Uh, I think I'll pass on reds, though. Will I pass on reds? I don't know. Let's play it by ear. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to pass on reds, <laughs> to be honest with you. And then greens... Well, no, I could use Thras here. Alright, well, let's see how many reds we've got in our first circle, and we'll gauge it that way. Two reds, alright. Well, let's start with the blue. Uh, blue's pretty bad, if I recall correctly. Fjorm's in there, so I definitely don't need Fjorm. This is going to be a three-star anyway, so... Kind of a moot point, going to be a Noe. Definitely don't need her. So we got two chances at Bramamond, or a Brave Camilla, or a female Grima. Uh, certainly wouldn't mind getting a Bramamond. Seems pretty cool. Pretty neat dark hero, but that's going to be an Azama. He's not dark at all. He's just very carefree. One last chance, and do I pull on the reds? I mean, worst comes to worst, the reds have some decent fodder, I guess, so... Oh, wow, we are going to get uh, a legendary hero. We are going to come away with a five-star. It's going to be Grima, who I, I think I have at plus zero. I don't think I have a single merge for her. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Like I said, female Grima, she's actually not bad. Like, she's, for such an old legendary hero, she's actually decent at high merges. Just her stat line is very balanced, and characters with very balanced stat lines tend to take the most advantage out of, um, out of merges. So let's take a look at her skills, uh, or her, her stat line, plus HP minus defense. That's fine. That's all right. Yeah, let's pull the reds. Why not? Why not? It's 8%. Not expecting anything. We've already pretty much come out on top. We've gotten two 5-stars already today. So, despite what I said when we started this session about uh, not getting anything, or expecting to not get anything, we actually ended up getting two 5-stars. Not, not focus 5-stars that I actually wanted, but still ended up getting 5-stars, so that's pretty cool. And it's going to be a Marth. Marth, Marth, Marth. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Not bad for such low investment. Pretty good. 
So we have a host of good banners to work with today. We're going to start with the heroes with guidance skills. This focus banner is pretty awesome. I like all of these characters. So uh, of the three, I just don't have Olivia, who I would love to get. Uh, Hinook is great. Tana is one of those units that I keep going for to try to get a, a merge or an uncap uh, for mine to neutralize her bane. So we're going to be going reds and blues, I think. So any reds and blues on this banner, in the first discounted circle, we will pull on. All right, well, fooey on that. I think we're going to just grab the colorless chance at Hinoka. Really? Wow, two colors. Two colors I'm going for. I had one and a backup, and you're not going to give me either of them. That's the way it works. All right, so we're going to get a so. That is fine. It's got some good stuff. All right. Well, we're just we're just washing away. We're using up all the bad luck. That that's all we're doing for the main event. So, uh, we've got weekly revival four here. Um, you know, of the three, Hector is probably the one that's worth really going for because I have the other two and multiple copies of the other two. So greens it is getting that distant counter. We've got one chance here. Let's hope it pays off. We'll see. Nope. What's it going to be? Barst? No, it's going to be a Libra. Not bad. Could be worse. He has that Wogun. Alright. Okay, so here we are on the relatively bigger main event. New Hero's Journey Begins. This just dropped today. I have our free summon and, of course, the four summon tickets that we got through the Forging Bonds event. And, uh, and of course, it features the all-new Pity system. Um, mileage system, sparking system, uh, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Your gotcha of choice, whichever one of those uh, calls it that, that cap where you guarantee a five-star. Um, honestly, I think Rinka and... Yeah, I'm thinking Rinka and Lilith are who we're going to be going for. Obviously, Midori and Forest are here too. Forest is a four-star focus. Uh, but yeah, I think greens and blues. So we're going to be pulling on all blues and greens um, in all of the circles, and we'll just hope for the best. Blues and greens. All right, so two chances at Lilith here. Okay. Can we get that first pull lock? Ah, oh, no, it's going to be a Shanna with that Desperation Fodder. It's actually not bad. Can always use more Desperation Fodder. So the count does go up as soon as you hit Summon again. It is an exciting mechanic for sure. It's such a, such a huge safety net for people that summon on the New Hero Banners. Really incentivizes the New Hero Banners. We're going to get Miss, uh, Miss Jigglypuff Eyes here, Tail to You. And we're just going to just back out of this one. So, blues and greens. Alright, lots of chances at Rinka. See if that pans out. With her, like, 16-pack abs. Uh, going through the Forging Bonds, it's uh, it's pretty int- Oh, we're getting little baby Fay. Going through the Forging Bonds is pretty interesting. There's this overarching plot. Or not, pl well, a plot line. Um... With this illness that's that's like taking over all of the forces of Asker and Midori and the rest of them are looking to try to find a remedy. Some mountain herbs. Hey Merrick. And we got a little uh, a little peek at Rinka and Kagro and how they used to wrestle <laughs> in the olden days and the Merrick, double Merrick, wow. Luck RNG is really shining on us today. We're getting a double Merrick. Who boy. Who boy. No thank you. Alright. Well, the first one had two blues. The next one had three greens. So this one's going to have four blues, right? Is that how it works? No. One of each. I am tempted to go in further in this banner just because of the whole new like pity mechanic, but... I don't know. Oh, hey, there we go. All right. Well, spoke too soon. Uh, Astral Daughter Lilith. That's awesome. We are getting her. Her sprite, her dragon sprite, just warms my heart. It is the cutest thing. Hello, I'm Lilith. I faithfully served at Corin's side in the Kingdom of Nor. Now I'm here if you need my aid. 
<laughs> Very cute. That's awesome. We have Lilith finally. And let's check her out. Minus speed. Well, that's that's not so great. <laughs> well, shoot. You know, there's a chance we'll get another one, potentially, I guess. Maybe. So, it's actually interesting. The count continues to go up, uh, even after you get a 5-star. In a lot of mileage systems out there that exist, uh, sparking systems, what have you, as soon as you get a 5-star, like, that safety net goes away. Like, it doesn't just give you another free 5-star, um, just because you reach that threshold. It actually just, it's, it's literally there just as a safety net if you go that high without getting a 5-star at all. So that's actually... A really nice thing about this, I, I think something that I didn't really touch upon too, too much uh, when, when talking about the introduction of the system, but I mean, that's really just brilliant because you can get as many five stars leading up to that free five star. So overall, it's just such a huge improvement, I think. Um, a lot of people are probably going to be feeling the benefits of that uh, as they're summoning in on this banner in particular. So blues and greens, once again. Two more chances at Lilith. I could go, I could go for Midori, but I don't know. She does have, she does have good stuff. Oh, it's, it's Ferdinand. How you doing, buddy? The noblest of nobles, indeed. Ferdinand von Eyre. All right. Uh, that is actually my first Ferdinand. He is a four star. We can go ahead and just check him out real quick. Minus speed. Is today going to be the day of minus speeds? Is that what we're looking at? It certainly feels that way, and it does not feel good. But hey, we already got a Lilith, which is awesome. Like, even if she was minus speed, getting a Lilith is really cool. The movement shenanigans that you can get out of her is really great. Um, Assist-based skills, things like that. Uh, Support-based skills, not assist-based skills. Uh, Luminous Rider Altena, um, not new for me, but one of the newer units. Um in the four-star pool. All right, so final ticket, greens and blues. Let's make it happen. No chances at Rinka, that's unfortunate. That is kind of unfortunate. And at the end of the day, like I said, I, oh, it's three-star. We, we were on a hot four-star streak, so I really can't complain. We were getting four stars left and right. So I wouldn't be surprised if both of these are three stars, in fact. But yeah, I am tempted to go all the way up to the 40. I don't know. Oh, wow, a Petra. Holy crap. That's awesome. Getting the Princess of Bridget, that is amazing. <laughs> oh, man. I, I have a, a Petra. Uh, I went in for her because I love her design. I think Petra's awesome. Um, one of my favorite Three Houses characters. And um, I ended up getting her on the cheap. And her IVs were pretty good. And this is another one, so that is actually phenomenal. Let's see what she's got. Plus defense, minus HP, that's offensively neutral. That is amazing. So, so good. Um, all right, well, let's back up out of this. Unfortunately, we didn't get Rinka, but we did get Lilith. Um, and again, these are uh, units that get dropped into the regular normal pool, so I, I don't have a, I'm not in a huge level of urgency to go after them in particular. Whoopsie poopsie, I hit that About Heroes button, which took me out of the game and into a browser, which stopped the recording, so sorry about that. Um, but we're back into it, and I did take that opportunity to look at the appearance rates and the uh, the pool itself. So, as you can see here, tons and tons of reds, as you would expect from a banner featuring all of the leads of Fire Emblem. Certainly a lot of sword heroes here, as that makes sense. Uh, and then when you start narrowing down towards the bottom here, Colorless only has two units in it, and Green has three three units in it so honestly I actually have all of these units like I'm not missing anybody so um honestly at the end of the day I think I'm gonna go green whoops I think I'm gonna go green just because I could technically use any of those characters I wouldn't mind getting any of them um and I think that's basically it now the chances of getting a green are, are low so I need a backup so I think maybe blue Micaiah, Ninian, Corrin, Ephraim, Azura, Subas. Ah, I don't know. Let's roll the dice. We'll look for green. If there aren't any greens, we'll just go red. <laughs> it might again super saturated color, but let's just give it a shot. 
We're guaranteed a five star regardless. All right, so no greens, as I just said. Two colorless, though. And it, I just said that there were only two colorless five stars in the pool. Well, all right. Well, you know, we got a chance at getting a, a Byleth here, which would be pretty good. Um, Alencia would be pretty good. There are a bunch of characters in here that would be pretty good. So let's, let's just pick one of the reds. That's what we'll go for. It's a five star, or it's a four star at least. We already know that. Uh, it's going to be Leaf. Okay, uh, you know, Leaf is one of the uh, five star exclusives in that pool. So it could have been a lot worse than what it is. Um, we, uh, He's not new for me, but again, could have been a lot worse. Uh, let's see what... Do, does he even have IVs? He, he does. <laughs> and he's minus attack. Today's not a good day for IVs. Really, seriously. Oh man, that's a little rough. Uh, no thank you. Maybe later. Alright, well, I, I guess I could potentially go in for Rinka uh, down the line. I'm not sure. Probably not. I think we're going to fold this into the Poverty Pulls regardless. But but overall, pretty good summon session, IVs aside. Alright, so we're going to be starting today with this new power banner featuring a lot of characters that I don't need. So I think we're going to be going for Erica. She recently got uh, a Refine, and I think that... Um, of the three, she's probably the best choice, but technically all of these characters were given to us for free, I believe. So, reds it is. Yeah, okay. Three chances at Erica. Let's go for the one in the middle. Let's see if we can't get the, uh, the fairer side of Ephraim. Oh, oh wow! Oh, we're getting a, we're getting a female Byleth. That is, uh, that's not what I was expecting at all. That is way better than getting a Cavalry Erica, uh, or Cavalry uh, Tome Erica. That's amazing! Wow, we got, we got a Byleth. I wasn't expecting that at all. Uh, she's she's amazing. I mean, she's really really strong. Uh, let's check what her IVs are. Minus attack plus HP. That's fine. I actually have another Byleth. This isn't my first Byleth, so. Uh, this is actually a potential merge for my Byleth. Uh, also, obviously, Ruptured Sky Fodder, as well as Fury 4, Wrath 3, even attack. Yeah, she's just got she's stacked with stuff. So, that's awesome. I w <laughs> we can already officially call today a win. Uh, let's, uh, we'll do that later. On a, on a very unassuming banner, a banner I wasn't expecting anything to happen on. Uh, we've got Weekly Revival 5, where we have Brave Ike, we have both Ikes, or two Ikes. Uh, plus uh, his little sister. So I think Mist is who I... No, I do have a five-star Mist. So I have all of them. Uh, I think Brave Ike is what we're going to go for here. Even though we got the resplendent version of Ike, I think Brave is the way to go. He still has that ridiculous tankiness, uh, that absolutely amazing refine for Irvan. So uh, we'll see if we can get him here. Oh, that is going to be a bar tray. Okay. Didn't, uh, didn't have enough of him from the Spring Banner. And then finally we have the Double Special Heroes Banner, which is pretty great. I do like them doing these. Um, it's, it's always nice. Only focus units are available. Standard 6% rate for 5 stars. Um, of these, I'm thinking red is probably what we're going to be going for. Green's okay as well. Colorless, I definitely don't want. And then there's also blue... Blue is all right. They would be new. So, I think reds, greens, and blues. I think I'm just going to pull on anything that's not colorless and just kind of see how we do. It's only the first circle, so it's still a poverty pull. We're just hoping not for colorless. Okay, we've got uh, no chances at green. That's fine. Um, let's just make our way around. So, we'll start with the blues. And if we're going to be doing four pulls anyway, we may as well just pull on that colorless, I think. So I think we're just going to grab this full circle and just see what happens. That is going to be a Lucas, not a seasonal Lucas, who isn't even on the banner. So another chance at a Burkut, potentially. Soiree. Okay, keeping hope alive with that Shockwave, at least a four star. And uh, that is going to be another graceful gentleman, Shigure. Okay, so two chances at Duo Hector and uh, 
Soiree Ishtar. I would love to get either of them. But we've gotten a lot of shockwaves, which makes me think we're not going to get... Oh, well, we did this time. Oh, that's a Seth. He's not really a four-star. He's like a he's like a fake four-star, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, again, since we're pulling on this red anyway, let's grab the colorless. Uh, I have uh, Erica, and I don't need Dozla, so whatever we get is whatever we get. Uh, oh, it's gonna be Felicia. I feel like it's been a while since we've seen her around. Wow, four stars all around, which leads me to believe that this is going to be an anticlimactic three star. But, who knows? Oh, wow, wow, we're getting four stars all around. That doesn't happen that often. Uh, but it is going to be a Roy, so nothing terribly eventful, unfortunately, uh, on this banner. We'll back out. How are we doing? So we're at 6.5. Do I want to go in further for Ishtar? Kind of. Part of me does, but... I think I'm going to pass. I also... Yeah, no. I, I, I think I'm going to pass. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Okay, today is going to be our final session for Poverty Pool 6. We've got three banners lined up for us. And we're going to start with Odd Wave Skills. So I, I don't have Burkut. Um, and so that would really be kind of the target here, I guess. Um, with Renea on fire back there. <laughs> uh, so I think blue is what we're going to shoot for. Should there be any blues available? And there are. So there's two blues. I don't know if I'm going to go beyond the initial pull. I think we're just going to do the initial pull. And then uh, see how it goes. Got that shockwave. So could be making an appearance. Ah, oh, it's going to be a corn. That's all right. And I don't think we're going to go really any further than that on this one. Uh, next up, we got Tempest Trials uh, for the upcoming Kid Banner. So, I believe um, green is what we're going to be going for. Red certainly offers the highest chance of getting a 5-star, but those are also 4-star units are available in the 4-star pool. 4 and 3-star for that matter. So, um, And I don't have Minerva, so I think any greens that are on the circle, we're going to go for. Yeah, 2 chances at Minerva, we'll, we'll take both of them, we'll try. Again, one of the few Gen 1 units that I don't actually have, so it'd be cool to get her for sure. Let's see. Oh, that is going to be a Python. I feel like I've been seeing a lot of Python lately. For somebody that is so lazy, it seems to show up an awful lot. Grab the other green. Okay. Keeping that hope alive. And... Ah, it's Gunter. That's alright. Definitely a seasoned knight. And finally, we got Weekly Revival 6. So, at the 4% rate for a revival, um, I'm, th I'm Brave Lucina. Again, I, every time she shows up, I take a stab at getting another copy because mine is like minus speed. So if we can if we can get one that would be awesome. Get neutralized that uh, she's actually very good now with her weapon refine and everything. So being able to do that would be pretty cool. Oh, it's gonna be La Rochelle. Not bad. Always like I always like La Rochelle's energy. Always feels enthusiastic. Okay. Well, that's going to call it, uh, I think, for our Poverty Pulse 6. We're going to wrap it up here, and we're going to start the next uh, next month with the next banner. Uh, pretty eventful, actually. We got some really good stuff, if, I, if I'm if i recalling, over the course of the past month or so. Um, we, we fared pretty darn well. So let me know in the comments below if you got any f you know free or discounted 5 stars on your discounted you know first circles on different banners uh, what you ended up pulling throughout the course of the month if there was anything new or any targets that you were aiming for that you got immediately it would be you know, really cool to hear about it um, like I said we did pretty well um, especially after I think poverty pulls five I think five was much less eventful than than six so hopefully we can keep that going uh, it's always nice a nice surprise to get rewarded for just uh, dipping a little bit in so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel uh, for more Fire Emblem Heroes content and more poverty pulls. Uh, hopefully you guys are staying safe, healthy, and uh, 
you know, secured away from the dangers of the world. Uh, certainly wishing the best for you, your family, and your friends, uh, for everybody out there. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. We really, really appreciate it. And until next time, let's protect those skies.